Hello everyone! In this video I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Illustrator to draw an eggplant. Let's get started. I'm going to go to File, New, or click the Create New button, Web, Web Minimum, and then I will title this Eggplant. I'm going to call it Eggplant 2 because I already have another eggplant, and click Create. I am going to paste in a photo of an eggplant to use as reference. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. Now I'm going to open my swatches. Here is swatches. And move it up here to this corner so it's out of the way. I'm going to open the side menu, open swatch library, and go to foods, vegetables. So I'm going to choose this purple right here as my fill. L on the keyboard to select the ellipse tool and I will drag out a nice wide oval, something like that. A on the keyboard is the direct selection tool. I'm going to click this anchor point right here to reveal the handles. Grab this top handle and pull it in a bit. I'm going to click this bottom handle and grab this slider on the left and make it a little wider. I'm going to activate this anchor point, drag it in a bit, click on the top anchor point. I'm going to twist it a little, drag it a little higher, and just a little bit more manipulation. Yeah, I think that looks eggplant-ish. I'm going to click this eggplant and drag it over so that I have room over here for the next step. Holding down Alt on the keyboard, I'm going to click and drag a copy of the eggplant and I'm going to change it to a green color and this is going to be, I'm going to use this to create the top. Now I need to deselect this Control or Command Shift A on the keyboard. I'm going to push P on the keyboard to get the pen tool and I'm going to set the fill to none, bring the stroke forward and set it to black. So what I'm going to do is make a zigzag pattern up here that's going to be the top green part. So I'll click one time and drag to the side and just create a bit and then when I get to the end I'm going to go around and make kind of a sloppy selection around the bottom part of the eggplant and then touch the beginning point and the end point. Now V on the keyboard to switch to the selection tool and click and drag a selection about around both of these objects. Then with the Pathfinder, I'm going to click the second button, which is minus front. I will take this and put it right on top. And now what I need to do is make a stem. You know, I'm actually going to make this just a tiny bit larger so that it I can't see any of the purple. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now L on the keyboard for the ellipse tool and I have green as my fill. I'll just drag an oval here. A on the keyboard for the direct selection tool. Click on the top anchor point, drag the handle out to make it look more like a stem. Yeah, now I will click the stem hold down shift on the keyboard and click the other green part and on the Pathfinder menu click Unite. Now let's move on to the face. For the face I am going to select L on the keyboard for the ellipse tool and I need to make sure this is deselected so Control or Command Shift A. Now bring the fill forward and make it black. I'm going to just make some really simple eyes I'm just going to do a circle, black circle, and deselect, Control or Command Shift A, change it to white, 
and then draw a little gleam then switch to uh, V V on the keyboard to get the move tool hold down shift select the eye and I will group that right click and group hold down alt and drag off a copy now for the mouth L for the ellipse tool on the side I'm going to drag a circle change it to black there M on the keyboard to get the rectangle tool draw a rectangle over that V on the keyboard make a selection around both objects and click minus front which is the second button now I'm going to make a tongue L on the keyboard for the ellipse tool Control shift a to deselect I'm going to choose a pink color it's not really a good pink um, I'll, I'll, I'll use this one here and if you want to you can double click this and uh, change change it to a color that you like better now I will click and drag a tongue on there V on the keyboard to get the selection tool draw a selection around both of those and this time on the Pathfinder we're gonna go to these three dots down here for more options and we're gonna select this one which is divide so now that that's divided I can uh, push a on the keyboard and select the bottom part of the tongue and delete it now I now V on the keyboard select those and drag it over into place on my project that's it everyone have fun